In this video, we will learn how to use parameters. Parameters is one of the most powerful features in Tableau. It enhances the way we can build more dynamic options. We will go through a few use cases. First, let's continue on filters and how we can use parameters for filters. We can use parameter to store a variable input. So in this example, we are looking at the top rank of the table of the products. We can change the top end number to look at with a parameter. So first, let's create a parameter. To do that, we can click on this and select create parameter. So let's call this top end. And here we can select the type of data we want for the parameter and we are going to use integer and let's do 10 and here we have the option to select the allowable values all will mean that it will take any value that matches the data type a list will limit the values we can put into the parameter based on the list that we have created and lastly we have range it limits the value based on the range that we have set. So here we are going to work with all values. After creating the parameter, it will appear here under parameters. Next, we want to take into account of the parameter as a calculated field. So we are going to create a calculated field and call this the top and filter what we want to do is to display the rank that are less than or equals to the top n parameter and now we can use this calculated field that we created as a filter and we want the condition where it is true Okay, now you see that this table has been reduced to only show the top 10 products. Now we have set up our filter. Let's take a look at how we can use the parameter. So we can show this parameter. And over here, this is the input value of our parameter. So let's say now we are interested to look at the top 15 products instead. So we can just change the value of our parameter here and the table will change accordingly to our input. Next, we can also use parameter to change the dimension or measures we are looking at in the visualization. Let's go to a bar chart over here. Here we have a chart that shows the sum of the sales by month and it also shows the distribution of the sales by category. So now let's say we are interested to look at the distribution by region instead. So what we can do is to change this color mark to region. Now we can see that the distribution of this value has been changed to region. But how can we allow users to have the option to change this dynamically on the dashboard? We can make use of parameters. So let's create a new parameter and call this distribution. Now let's use string and let's use list. So we want to give users the option to select either category or region. So now we have a parameter that allow us to select category or region. And next we have to create a calculated field. So let's create a calculated field to use this parameter. So we are going to do case when this distribution parameter when it is region, I am going to use region. Mm. 
when it is category, then category. Now let's use this calculated fill on the color mark over here. With this, we can now change this distribution based on our parameter selection over here. So we can change this to category and you'll see that the distribution changes accordingly. Let's go through another example. Here we have a chart that looks at the relationship of the sales and profit of all orders. We can create a parameter on the reference line. What we want to do here is to set a reference on the quadrant of data that we are interested to look at. What we can do is that we can create parameter like we have done previously. Or in this case, we can go to the axis and click on add reference line. And over here, we can select create a new parameter. Here, let's call this profits minimum. Okay, and then we do the same for sales. So let's say we are interested to look at any orders with a total sales of more than 2,000 and it's making a profit of more than 1,000. So notice that when, when we change this parameter value, this reference line shifts accordingly. Now we have the reference line that allow us to look at the region of the data where the orders have a sales of more than $2,000 and has a profit of more than 1000 In the next video, we will learn how we can enhance this visualization with the use of sets and we will also learn about the differences between sets and groups.